Okay, so here's the prank for today. The prank is on Nabila. Mm -hmm. So, what's she up to? Friday was a frantic day for her. She's gone. She's got two sons who mm -hmm. uh, both play soccer and both very good little soccer players. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do when your son is a little star soccer player? Both of them, you go and get them the latest boots mm. from a certain store at Canal Walk. <laughs> mm. All right. The best of the and, best. Yeah, and let me tell you, the kids come to you telling mm. you which boots they want. Mm. So it's um, Nike Phantoms mm. or whatever. Yeah. And now to take those boots one step further, mm -hmm. you can personalize boots now. Oh. You can put the name on the outside. You know, like Ronaldo does it, mm. Messi does it. So she's been back and forth with them saying, listen, uh, my one son is Hamza and she wants Hamza, H-A-M-Z-A -A, mm. with the number seven. That's mm -hmm. his number Cute. on Love the outside the of the boot mm. at the back. Then uh, her other son, she wants Issa Jr. Mm -hmm. and then the number 10. Mm -hmm. Strategically mm. placed on the back heel, mm. sort of on the right hand mm. side. Yeah, Just like the those superstar side. footballers do it. Totally right. So mm. now they've been going back and forth mm. and... She didn't want them to rush it because she wanted a perfect job done. Mm. And then there was a sizing issue. No, it's too big. It's too small. The Goldilocks story, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So she's been back and <laughs> forth with them and now absolutely at her wit's end. And that's where I come in. Because now I, I like, I, I own no, the where, where do you come in? <laughs> Everybody that she's dealt with, now I'm the, 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 I'm the top of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's demanded... That through all of this now They will be delivering these boots mm. To her house Because she's been patent, patient For long enough Okay Let me escalate the situation Hello Hello I'm looking for Nabila please You're Speaking It's uh, Frank here from Knorp Sort of Canal Walk How are you? I'm good Frank What can I say? I'm very disappointed I don't know if you heard the whole story Please explain Yes so I came into the so I came into the store at about quarter to six, right? Mm. Anyway, we bought two soccer dogs. Mm. So I wrote both my son's names on a piece of paper and I gave it to the gentleman that does the printing. Mm. So my husband went to pay for the dogs. We brought the dogs to the other counter and then he wrote the names down again. So it was two pieces of paper with the same names mm. and exactly how we wanted it. And we told them exactly the size and how it must be. Mm. The guy said, we said, how long would it take? An hour. So I said, it's fine. Don't rush it. I'm going to chill in the center. We're going to walk around, get a few things, and then we'll come back. So he says, no, it will be done by the time you come back. That was like quarter to ten to six, somewhere around there. Mm. We then came back at like quarter past twenty past seven. When we got to the counter, all excited, because obviously we wanted a surprise, my two sons and take it home. Mm. The guy is busy with a t-shirt and says, oh no, you wasn't sure of my of the other name, must the dot be next to my son's name. So I said, but did you start with the other boots along? No, they had something to deal with before to start with my stuff. Because can I? Because uh, I've I've already corrected that for you. I picked up a spelling mistake what? that Martin uh, had because no. so it was it was first the time when I came back at twenty past seven, the boots wasn't done. I left Canal Walk immediately. While I was driving in the car, I called the store. And I said, are you guys still able to do it tonight? So he says, no, we're going to do yours now. So I said, okay, you guys close at nine. I'm going to send one of my guys with my son. And you will be there by like half past eight, quarter to nine. He says, no problem, ma'am. No problem. I'll sort it out. Bearing in mind, I stay in Bloberg. Okay. My driver has to stay and Sorry. wait, and then he drops. Can I just finish? Yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's a bit of a long story. <gasps> I, I, no, well, I don't care whether it's a long story. You need to hear it. Mm. You need to know what, exactly what happened. It's, it's a bit like a podcast. <laughs> yes, it is. <gasps> mm. So don't irritate me. Don't like, Just Whoa. do not irritate me because I've explained the story. Yeah, but I want to so tell you that I've corrected the situation. That's why. Well how, well, how, well, how did you correct the situation? I picked uh, no, up the spelling mistake. Yet. I picked well, up that's the spelling not, mistake. That, that's not the issue. Because the spelling mistake is not the issue. Don't you understand that? Because he spelt it E-S-S-A -S -S and then 
he was going he, you know we printed the boot for Isa I'm not interested no, in the I spelling picked, mistake I don't you understand it, I, what I'm saying because he was going to go and make another spelling mistake he was going to well, put well you sound e- like you get telling me a long story I'm telling you the story or you telling me the story <laughs> I'm telling you, you weren't even there when it happened he put E S S A and before he was going to well, print I said I that's was wrong convenience by sending my driver from Bloberg to Canal Walk and then he gets it and the boot is there I'm not done yeah, but and I then said at half past nine <laughs> a guy from Bloberg one of your guys sends me the boot and the, the labeling has bubbles on it I mean like yes. But I corrected name that. So in large. Well, I don't care whether you corrected it. <laughs> he was going to spell Isa E E S A after the correction. I said, don't do, do that. Not, That's I, not I, how I, you no, spell it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not even going to speak. To you. I'm not going to even carry on with this conversation. Goodbye. It's done. <laughs> Frank, you know what? The whole entire day, this is what's phoning me. Now you still carry on phoning me. What is going on? Is, is my boots going to be delivered to my house? Okay, can I just explain? I corrected the spelling mistake before it went to print. I said, listen, Frank, you don't spell it E-E-S-A. It's E-E-Z-A. So he's printed the boots with Junior. E-E what? E-E what? E-E-Z-A. Like, like the other shoe, H-A-M-Z-A. I said, that's are how... Are you f***ing illiterate? I, I, are you ignorant? Are you ignorant? <laughs> no, it's done. It's I printed. Said- well, then take that boot and then shove it. Can I just have a total refund? I will get this from somewhere else. Really, this is just ridiculous now, honestly. No. It's absolutely no. ridiculous. We printed like, the You guys boots. are just ignorant. No, well, I don't care. Take what? the boot and give it to your grandchildren. I, I don't <laughs> care. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? I said E-E-S-A for the millionth time. Why would you put a Z? Because the other name is Hamza with a Z at the end. <laughs> No, you, 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 you I, I really can't deal with this, really. My, my, my chest is pulling tight. My blood pressure is rising. You're giving me anxiety. Can, can your supervisor please call me, Frank? I, 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 I am the supervisor. I am the supervisor. Then you need to go back to grade one. Well, the I, spelling is double E S A and it's dot junior J N R number 10. And it mustn't be big because then it's like, must I now show people that I need my son's name on a soccer dog? Because we put Hamza Junior 7 and then E-E-Z-A Junior 10. You know what? Just do me a favor. Go and fly a kite in the damn traffic. I, I don't have the patience for your ignorance and your foolishness. But really, I don't. But what did I do wrong? Please explain to me. <laughs> Frank, I do not want to speak to you. You're messing up with my calmness. You, you've spoiled my whole day. I will just come and get a full refund. You can't. And that's a done you with can't. me. You can't. The boots have been printed. You can't. Now, I don't care, Frank. I don't you understand English. I don't care. I'm talking Please English. Please donate it to charity. I, I, I really don't care. But you can't get a refund. But I don't even want a refund. Take your family out for supper. Do me a favor. No, no. You might need for you to be girl, okay? No, just, <laughs> just, just, just slow down. Slow down. Are you married? <sighs> Are you f- asking me am I married? What does that have to do with the price of eggs? Me being married. Good sure. I feel sorry for your husband. But anyway, oh. so, yeah, 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 so the... Talk, Frank. I, I have stuff to do. Talk. What is it? I don't want the boot. I don't want the refund. You can have a lovely piece of steak. Maybe it will it, it will feed your ignorance. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hold on. Wait. Whoa. 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 <laughs> what? What so, do you want, Frank? So, what do you want? Sorry. I just wanted to resolve this. <laughs> okay. We're going to resolve it amicably. Like two grown adults. Do, do I have your word on that? Yes. Uh, all I'm saying is, uh, are, are your kids like good soccer players? Because we have a lot of people coming in here, you know, and, and they, all their kids are... S- well, the my kids being good soccer players has absolutely jack nothing to do with you. Because, like, is it really, I mean, is <laughs> worth putting names on boots? Like, are they... That really has nice? nothing to do with you. You're not footing my bill. Don't ask me that. Because you. you could just be like every other parent and put the name on like, the inside like, of the boots. Like, who are you? Like, who are you? For you to be a supervisor, <laughs> you could put down like a really obnoxious person asking me all these questions. Like Am the, I married? Is it necessary? Like, for the lost and found, you just put the name on the inside of the boots. For the lost and found, you know what you do. Go and bloody fly <laughs> kite in the traffic, really. And I will deal with you personally tonight. I'm coming to the no. office. Okay, no. Don't and do this that. Co- and this call is recorded. I'm closing. I'm locking the shop up. <laughs> You're not. It's closed at that nine. And no, I will. I'm... And I will tell them what a joke you are making about me being a paying customer. What time are you coming? Well, I will be there before you close your store. Guys, close the, the shop actually... now. Close the shop now. <laughs> Crazy lady on the way. You. <laughs> Guys. <laughs>
Yes. Uh, hello, Nabila. Yes. Guess who? What is wrong with you? I don't want to talk to you. You are <laughs> up with my with my calmness. Who is this? It's uh, Darren Simpson. <laughs> oh, f- off, Darren. Oh, oh, my. oh my. Darren, what is wrong with you? Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so embarrassed. Oh, my God. Javid got in touch and told me everything that was happening. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> oh I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I fucked that. Why did you catch me? <laughs> Guys, it's Darren Simpson that I just got pranked. <laughs> Don't mess with a mama and her so- babies. Yo. I just feel the need to play this message again. Hi, this is Yusuf and Abila's dad. <laughs> I have to put in a disclaimer here. All that, that you just heard definitely comes from a mum because her dad, <laughs> moi, is a very peaceful, calm man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we get it. It's all from the mum's side. <laughs>